So I tried MIUI 13 after a long time and first time ever I have used MIUI 13 based on Android 13. My experience about, about this, my experience about this, how this thing is going on, which other features have been added in MIUI 13, Android 13. I'll talk about all those things in this video. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. First of all, yes, it's MIUI 13 and yes, it's not a device specific review about which other things working or how about this thing. I'm just talking about the things which are in included in a MIUI 13 Android 13 or the differences from Android 12 to Android 13. First of all, let me show you one thing which is added in Android 13. If I open any app from here, guaranteeing all the required permissions, one thing if you're able to notice allow 1dm plus to send notifications and the thing which is added in android 13 in google by, by google the thing is added in miui 13 too for me i think so this is a very good change to be honest looks quite interesting one and yes this is all about users preferences it's not a big deal but if you move on to this media player what i found here is uh, android 13 style media player is not implemented which is actually quite weird because android 13 features at least should be there because we are using android 13 but android 13 media player is not there this is quite unfortunate maybe with miui 14 we will see that but this is what we have same with this in controls control center the media player is just same this is not actually looking like android 13 but of course it's okay here comes the memory extension feature which was introduced by xiaomi some time ago and the thing is in this option we have now option to change this i mean it's not by default like 2 gb 3 gb 5 gb you can simply choose according to your own preference so that's quite impressive if you want to choose 3 gb 5 gb simply reboot and you will be able to get that and that's quite interesting i think so because i had used minui maybe a long time ago so this is what we have also the control center because i was not able to show you like if you use miui 13 android 12 style sometimes you don't have this control center you have to update your system ui plugin etc but yes with android 13 this is by default included i'm using china version so yes the things might be different in global version or india version but with china version this is what we have same thing applies to these widgets the widgets are also available with this chinese variant and yes the widgets were also introduced with miui 13 and Android 12 now available with MIUI 13 Android 13 too widgets are quite good in some cases in some cases these are not but yes if you use android 13 these are interesting one floating windows also plays an important role and this is available here sidebar is there floating windows also have some extra options as just so like sidebar and we also have the app flash cards i think so this was not introduced previously but with android 13 this is what we have as i just mentioned that android 13 or android 12 might have some differences but it's absolutely okay most of the things are just same one thing let me show you which i liked in xiaomi if you use a china based custom uh, i i think i like that thing a lot if i move on to privacy protection features here we have incognito mode i just love this feature which if you turn on you'll be able to suspend the microphone and camera permission for all of your apps at once which is a very useful thing secure keyboard yes and let me tell you one more thing these features are only available in china based media rooms if you use global or india variant these features are not present but these are actually super good and super useful it's my personal opinion i love to use chinese variants in this miui 13 things other than else this was about my experience and i found this miui 13 android 13 is quite good let's take a look about miui 14 we will take a look at miui 14 also and yes make sure to subscribe the channel for miui 14 first video i will give you very soon thanks for watching goodbye